Hello guys and welcome back here on Diva in Sketch Tricks. On today's video I will show you another great plugin called uh, Override It. What does it do? Uh, override It, as the name said, it uh, gives you great overrides in your symbols and then let's have a look on it. Okay, this plugin is uh, made by this guy, He's called, his name is Ahmed, Ahmed Gennady. He is a UX and UI engineer and also a great uh, sketch plugin developer. Um, yeah, you can go to the GitHub site here and download the plugin or you can also read a great article of him uh, on Medium. And here is the article, uh, here's the plugin where you can download it on GitHub or you can uh, read the article. And everything here in the article and also in the on the github page is well explained if you want to push the stop button you can do it or you can just go on with the plug uh, with the tutorial and yeah and see how I will use it okay um, here for example uh, I had a client where I had to rebuild some um, some navigation style and this is just a, a screenshot of an existing page I made and I have to had to rebuild uh, in, in other viewports etc and what what did I have uh, the client gave me just uh, an icon set where I show you here uh, I made out of it uh, lots of symbols here and yeah and then i have had to rebuild the the whole uh, navigation stuff okay what what um have i done yeah i have built um um a responsive symbol like this here where an icon is included uh yeah a heading uh, and so on um one great thing uh, what came out with, with the update of Sketch 53 is now that you can uh, just select on your canvas or on your uh, layers panel all these things you see on hover uh, I get here just then the overrides for, for the headline or I can go here for the copy text and I got this. This is one great uh, update and here you also see where the icon is and I can change icons here as I want and yeah this is really really a good nice improvement now in Sketch I think uh, since Sketch 53 really great I love this uh, this update this is really helpful but one thing uh, the new update can't do and therefore I use this great plugin from Ahmed this called override it okay once you have downloaded it the plugin uh, you find it then here override it here and what can this do I, I just explain uh, here in, in, in sketch uh, I have to find the icon of top shiro contour what will I normally do as I select here uh, the icon in 24 and then I go here and f will find the override but I, s I look for here Chiro Conto and I can't go here I can't press G for Chiro Conto I have to look I have to look where is the icon and this uh, costs so much time yeah and therefore I use this overrided plugin because you you can't find, uh, you can't uh, search for overrides. I show it to you here. I uh, set the uh, keyboard shortcut for Alt, Command and O. And you see here will pop up a new overlay. And then I see here the icon, I see here uh, the, the heading, the H4 I, I've integrated. And I have here, um, yeah, my, my copy text here. What will I do now? I will find the icon here uh, of Chiro Conto and what have I do? I go here, press and pops down all the, the icons I've uh, built in 24 pixels on my symbols page and now here I can find, I can search for, for Chiro Conto. I put in Chiro 
and I see here uh, is it you see three um, options will appear and I change the icon this is really great and yeah then for text you can do also the same here one nice thing here is that you can expand your text boxes here here expand the text box this is one thing you can't do here in normally sketch you have this little short uh, area here this is also one thing I like here uh, this is needed if you have a larger text for example or copy uh, a lorem ipsum or, or more copy text in it and here do the same here uh, just uh, duplicate this and uh, search for Shiro Conto Plus go to the icon and search Shiro Conto Plus and here I see there's the icon and I can change it. I can change it very easy, uh, very quick and very fast and this is such an amazing time saver for me and my work. For example you can here, I will insert here just uh, one lorem ipsum text uh, therefore I downloaded the plugin uh, sketch data faker and insert some lorem ipsum and you see um, here I open it again and see I can expand it here and just easy edit and this is uh, a little bit handier as the normal thing here because you can't expand your your box. Yes, um, this was the the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, for me, uh, in my case here, it was an extremely time saver. And yeah, I would recommend it to you. Ahmed Genady is a really great guy. I, I know him personally. And yeah, big big shout outs, big respect to you, my friend. Hey guys, I hope you find this uh, video tutorial uh, useful. Uh, let me know which plugins uh, do you uh, prefer. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, see you in the next video. Have a good time. Bye bye, your John.